If the evidence survives, visitors from the outer space may someday reconstruct a curious story. The Earth was a small planet, but it proved suitable for life. At some point, atoms came together in a molecule that, just under the right conditions, reproduced itself. Random variations in the structure of that molecule made reproduction possible under less favorable circumstances. Cells evolved than organs, organisms, and species. Interchanges with the environment became more and more complex. In one species, Homo sapiens, the vocal musculature came under operant control and people began to talk to each other and exchange experiences. Elaborate cultural practices evolved, among them science and technology. Unfortunately, they were used to support genetic dispositions that had evolved at an earlier stage. Because food was reinforcing, people raised, stored, and distributed vast quantities of it. Because moving about was useful and exciting, they invented trains, cars, airplanes, and spaceships. Because good things could be taken from other people and then needed to be defended, they invented clubs, guns, and bombs. Because they wished to avoid ill health and the threat of death, they practiced medicine and sanitation. They lived longer and their numbers increased, and they took over more and more earth and brought it under cultivation. They consumed more and more of its irreplaceable resources. In a struggle for what was left, they began to build weapons so powerful that they could bring life on earth to an end. A few people saw the danger and worried about it, but their proposals conflicted with practices that were supported not only by immediate and hence more powerful consequences, but by the out-of-date moral and ethical principles that had been invented to justify them. Those who were able to do so continued to breed at will, consume without restraint, and prepare to defend themselves at any cost. Eventually, people no longer worried about the future because there were no people. A happier ending might run like this. Those who saw the danger began to do more than talk about it. They began to study human behavior with methods that had first evolved in physics and biology. They turned from observing what people had done up to that time to observing what people did under carefully controlled conditions. A science and technology of behavior emerged that were free of government, religious, and economic ideologies. Better cultural practices were designed. Meanwhile, older practices grew weak as their justifications became suspect. Governments no longer provided order and security. Religions failed to give peace of mind and joined with governments in threatening the peace of the world. Their answers to puzzling questions yielded to the answers of science. Economic institutions lost controls as automation destroyed both the need for and enjoyment of productive labor. Education emerged as the dominant force in the maintenance and transmission of cultural practices. The species survived for many thousands of years and before those visitors from outer space reached Earth, they were met by a similar caravan coming from Earth itself. Agreed that this is a utopian ending, but in which of the two senses of that word? Is it better to be a better world or no world at all? <laughs>